Hey guys, this is Eddie here back at you again with a quick video on a brand new floor plan that just hit our lot. This is going to be a 2023 Keystone Hideout. This is going to be a 25 RDS. So it is a rear dinette floor plan couples coach. So no bunks. It's raining here in Grand Rapids. So I just wanted to show you a quick walk around of the floor plan just so you can get a taste. I won't be able to go through everything that this floor plan has to has to give you. So if you have any questions, you can call me, Eddie, at Veering Star V Center. My number is 616-965-9625. But let's just touch on a few things on the outside and we'll pop in to check out that floor plan. So of course, you're going to have your power stabilizer jack and you are going to have, or your power tongue jack and you are going to have power stabilizer jacks. That is going to be a standard on Keystone hideouts for 2023. In the front, Big change. They are going, instead of a 12-volt AGM battery, you are going to have a 100-amp-hour Dragonfly lithium battery which it, with a temperature control. So this is going to give you longer life when you are out on the road. This is going to give you a little bit more time when you are boondocking. Just going to help keep your battery. Your battery is just going to stay charged for a lot longer. It's going to be a lot better for you as a consumer. Um, paired with their 200 watts of solar on the roof, that is going to be awesome if you ever want to take this a little bit off the beaten path. Here is your pass-through storage, which does have your outdoor griddle, and I'll show you where that connects. For being mid-sized, for being about 25 feet of living space, this is going to have two entryways, one going into the bedroom and one going into the, the rear entry, which is going to be right by the dinette, which is awesome. Here is going to connect. That's where your outdoor griddle is going to connect to. Right next to your Everchill fridge, which is nice and big, I might add, for an outdoor kitchen. Heading down, of course, tandem axle, and then you have your Lippert solid step as we head into this floor plan. But let's check it out. So nice and open. You are going to have those seamless countertops, which should be right here, which is a change from their team mold that they had on 2022s. In the back, tons of windows. Tons of windows, so a lot, a lot of open light. Uh, you are going to feel nice and open and airy in here. It is a smaller floor plan, but this does make it feel kind of huge because you do have a super slide, and I'll show you that in a moment. But just want to say there is some storage up above. There's going to be storage down below from your dinette. This is going to be one of their easily uh, movable tables, and it will collapse down with ease. Um, as we head to the dinette slide, or to the sofa slide, it is going to be a super slide. So you do have your trifold sofa with armrests. There is going to be some storage below. You're going to have nice pantry space. And then, of course, you have your 12-volt Furion refrigerator. Checking out the kitchen, tons of counter space and tons of storage space. So even as we go in here, you are going to have a lot of space in here for everything you want to bring. Crock pots, coffee maker, uh, pots and pans, whatever you want to use, you will be able to fit it in this mid-size coach. Just an idea on the space. Of course, you have your three burner cooktop, little oven, and then you have your microwave. Nice sink cover option. They went from, um, say, like a solid surface or a seamless countertop sink cover to now a two piece where you can use one of them as a drying rack, which I think is awesome. Um, heading up, you have those lit cabinets, which I think looks really nice when you're just hanging out on the campground, just to have that light on in the back. You are gonna have your gas tankless water heater so you can set up whatever temperature you want it to go to and have that continuous hot water source. Here's a battery heater. So if you are in colder temperatures, you can keep your battery warm. And then this is of course your thermostat controls, which is gonna control your the fan and also the air conditioning. Let's head into the pass-through bathroom. So lots of storage again, plenty of spaces for uh, towels, rags, whatever you wanna bring. Then you do have a little cabinet under there for, say, cleaning supplies. You do have a medicine cabinet, which is great, just because a lot of floor plans don't. And it's really nice to have a spot to put your toothbrush, toothpaste, uh, medicine. <laughs> but this does give you a medicine cabinet, which I think is great. It's a little bit of a luxury from home that you can bring on the road. Heading over to the shower, you are going to have, there's your throne. And then you do have a nice big square shower, which I think gives you plenty of room. A little bit larger than, say, a corner shower. Heading into the bedroom, you are going to have a queen bed, and then you are going to have your hanging storage on either side, which is typical of an RV of this class, but it just shows that they're still they're still sticking to some of the things that are tr true in the camping world uh, for all of their models. But gives you them on both sides, which is great. And then you do have your sliding door right there. 
yeah, and then there's your second entryway. But yeah, this was a quick walk around on a brand new 2023 Keystone Hideout 25 RDS. If you have any questions, you can always call Eddie at Viewing Star V Center. My number is 616-965-9625, and I'll catch you on the next video. Thank you.